Welcome to biology session. In the previous lesson, we talked about uh, different types of, uh, of forms of nutrition. In this lesson, we want to look at now specifically the nutrients. Uh, we are going to define what nutrients or a nutrient is. Then we are going to classify these nutrients. And uh, then we'll see how uh, uh, these uh, nutrients can be tested in food samples. So this is the topic that uh, deals with uh, most of the practical, biology practical work. So you have to watch this video several times and also ask questions. So a nutrient is, an, is any substance which provides the body with the N of, or any or all of the following. It provides energy, material for growth, protection against diseases, proper functioning of the body. So this is the definition for a nutrient. Define a nutrient. A nutrient is defined as any substance which provides the body with it, any or all of the following, energy, material for growth, protection against disease, and the proper functioning of the body. You put them in one sentence. So when you mention energy, comma, material for growth, comma, protection against the disease and the proper functioning of the body. So classes of uh, nutrients. There are seven classes of nutrients, namely carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, water, mineral salts, vitamins, roughage. So the memory key is something that you can use to remember these seven uh, classes of nutrients is uh, calipro wameviro. Okay, so ka that is uh, carbohydrates, li, lipids, pro, proteins, wa, that is water, mi, that is mineral, then mineral, then v, vitamins, and the r, roughage. So we will start by looking at uh, carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, these are nutrients that are made up of uh, carbon, hydrogen, ox and oxygen. So sometimes they ask funny questions. Uh, name the elements that are, uh, that, 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 that are found in carbohydrates or starch. So if you don't know that starch is a carbohydrate or they bring maybe potato, potatoes, sweet potatoes, Irish potato, cassava, then they tell you, mention the elements that are in cassava. There is carbon, hydrogen, and the oxygen there. So they are the, the, the carbohydrates, these are nutrients that are made up of carbon, hydrogen, and uh, oxygen. This came in chemistry in 2021. So it's important that you marry this, these uh, subjects, biology, physics, and uh, chemistry. You find the answers that you're supposed to provide uh, in chemistry, you provide them in uh, biology. So we are saying carbohydrates, these are nutrients that are made up of hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen, and are a source of energy. So lack of carbohydrates in diet leads to marasmus. So the lack of energy, the lack of uh, carbohydrates in diet leads to marasmus. They are commonly obtained from plants. There are three classes of carbohydrates, namely monosaccharides, disaccharides, and polysaccharides. Mono means one, simple sugar. Di means two, two molecules of sugar. Poly means more than two, many polysaccharides. So an example of a polysaccharide is starch. Starch is a polysaccharide. Then uh, we look at now these uh, cl uh, classes of carbohydrates. So carbohydrates is a class of nutrient. And the carbohydrate has also classes which are monosaccharides, disaccharides, and the polysaccharides. So let us look at classes of carbohydrates one we have monosaccharides 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 are simplest carbohydrates and make up of building blocks of carbohydrates so you have to join two monosaccharides to have carbohydrate two or more uh, monosaccharides to have a carbohydrate so they are also called simple sugars groups of monosaccharides include trioses uh, tetroses pentoses exoses heptoses and so on so the exoses are the most famous and include. So you need to know the most famous uh, groups of monosaccharides there, exoses. And they include 
fructose or fructose, glucose and galactose. Memory key FGG. Fructose, galactose and uh, glucose. The most in, the, the common name, occurrence and use of each are given in the table uh, below. So let us look at uh, the occurrence, the common name. Glucose, the common name given is blood sugar. So glucose is blood sugar. Natural occurrence, you find it in honey and blood, human blood or blood in general. Many uses, what's the main uses of glucose? Maintain substrate for respiration. Fructose, fruit sugar, it is found in fruits, nectar, and honey. So in practical, they can bring honey, you test for presence of these sugars, okay? Then galactose in milk. Galactose natural is found in milk, source of energy for young mammals like babies. So they can bring milk for you to test uh, these sugars. So it's important that you understand. So the purpose of fructose there, it's found in fruits, nectar, and honey, attracts and reward animals that pollinate flowers and disperse seeds. So thank you so much. In the next lesson, we'll be looking at disaccharides.